I've received uh, always a lot of comments on people, of course, telling me that uh, I should never have been a teacher. That's why I started by saying that I don't consider myself a teacher, I consider myself a mentor. Uh, I've had the privilege of teaching in uh, different environments uh, in Kenyan schools. So I've had a privilege of teaching in what I would call high-end schools, so schools that uh, host some of uh, what I would say uh, brilliant students, or let me say cognitively advantaged students. I've also had the opportunity uh, to teach in uh, schools where uh, we have uh, 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 students who are of low academic achievement. But what has turned me all this through is uh, looking into the eye of a student and seeing their struggle. They really want to become. And I go back and ask myself, if somebody did not really commit their lives to me when I was young then, mm -hmm. Would I have been here? I say to myself, no. But that is not the end of it. What must be done better? Because the children of today are growing in a, in a different kind of environment. They are not where we were yesterday. Mm -hmm. They cool. come back and interestingly, my current station hosts some of uh, uh, students from quite unfortunate background. Most of my students are withdrawn from the slums of Kangemi where education seems to have lost a lot of value. It's not a source of inspiration anymore, Contrast, which is a contrast to what was there before. Children of uh, uh, the less privileged in the society were actually known to be really ambitious because they thought that education was all uh, that could give them hope. I belong to that kind of category. But I've met a generation where there's a lot of lost hope, even in education. And when you try to give them the other side that actually education should really be the key, though that now sounds funny in the environment that you mm -hmm. say, they will challenge you and tell you no. Because they are the product of an environment where education really does not seem to be the key. Mm -hmm. So each and every day, I find myself doing more talking than teaching. And I think that I'm very hopeful that the few who really get to get that message of hope. But education doesn't really have to uh, bring the real food, but it gives you an opportunity to get better food uh, in future. So my kind of environment uh, gives me quite a, a more of a mentorship uh, job than a teaching job. If you look at our Kenyan politics, yeah. the youth are not so much involved. What is the place of the youth? What, what are we not doing right as the youth? Mm. Yeah. I don't know whether I really want to consider myself or associate myself with uh, the characteristics of youths of my generation. Because uh, I think one of the greatest, greatest resource that Kenya has is actually its youthful population. We are one of the uh, most youthful countries, I mean, in, 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 in the whole world. And I think that should come with some kind of, uh, 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 let me say, political advantage or maybe socio-political advantage, but it's the opposite. We are now uh, facing a situation in which the youths are actually uh, slaves in their own country. What may be clearly, I would uh, call, they are ever seeking for economic salvation. Mm. And like religious salvation, when somebody is seeking for economic salvation, they would go for any preacher of economic salvation that comes out. This is what happens in our public political scene, where anybody uh, with uh, economic muscle simply transform into a, 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 a political giant. Yeah, I, I, I don't know whether it is right in, in, in the politics of economy, but it has become so easy in Kenya for somebody, for, for economic power to be transformed in political power. Mm -hmm. Just because we have a huge youthful population that are, 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 are quite easy to, 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 to be used. 
Um, I think there are people who are trying to change the situation. Uh, I'm personally uh, a, a fellow of uh, Emerging Leaders Foundation, a place where I really got an opportunity to learn the other side of, of, of being a youth in Kenya. And uh, I think it is time we redirected uh, this energy of the youth in actually community uh, development and organization. Where I've seen youths today starting uh, uh, creating spaces in, 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 in rural areas, in urban areas, trying to uh, uh, change the narrative uh, of youths being used. And uh, I think one clear demonstration of, of that is what happened during the 2022 general election. I think there is some consciousness that is coming on. The youth are beginning to look at things differently. Mm -hmm. And I think at, for the very first time in my own locality, I saw a youthful population that were asking questions instead of taking action. They were asking questions before taking actions. And I think that is a, a bit of a better development in the conscience of our youth. I wish that more and more of it is done so that in future we have youths who will be able to ask you questions before you incite them for violence. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think uh, the youth that have made it into the leadership, yeah. uh, uh, most especially the political leadership of yeah. Kenya, do you think they inspire confidence in uh, the leadership of the youth? I don't really want to blanketly say they don't, but majorly. I don't think they're inspiring confidence in the youth because it boils back. I think even the youths that get into uh, uh, politics or political leadership in Kenya all come back to what we call economic patronage, where their voices are silenced because there are still things they cannot achieve economically. So they become basically trumpets of parties, trumpets of big political, uh, 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 I mean, power brokers. And they do not really get to represent the true ambitions of youths in Kenya. They do not challenge the status quo. They join it and flow with it, which is really quite an unfortunate thing. 